Hey guys, this is Matthew, and we're going to be doing some more quick tutorials in Alice. So I'm trying to kind of do two series. The first one um, takes you through the basics of Alice and shows you how to set up things kind of uh, in what you'd have in sort of an introductory level college class. And those I'm trying to keep to sh shorter videos. And then the other videos are a little bit more in depth and kind of teach you uh, some things that you probably wouldn't be able to find uh, in, in normal Alice books. So what we're doing now is just the, the first series, the uh, just getting you with a working knowledge of Alice. And I wanted to, I, I've done keyboard control already, and I've, I've shown you guys how to like set up Alice uh, and install it. But what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through how to, kind of a four-part series, how to set up a scene, add all the things to it, rotate um, objects and that that one's actually a cool tutorial is how to make wheels turn and helicopter blades move then uh, how to place different cameras so you can get different shots or have cameras follow things and finally how to do collisions so right now we're gonna do the the scene setup one so let's get into that so I've, you start up Alice uh, and when you start up, it asks you what you want to do. So we're just going to do the Mars surface. So when it begins, like our goal right now is to do the scene setup. And you can see there's this little button here in the, in the viewer window that says scene setup. So we're going to click that, and it takes you to the setting up a scene portal. So what you have is you have your five different categories here bipeds which is like people and other two-legged things your flyers your props which is going to be everything other than characters so like wardrobes or castles or walls or roads or pretty much everything else besides the uh these uh characters you have your quadrupeds which is like dogs cats anything with four legs and your swimmers for your sea scenes you also have these primitive objects that you can add like cones, cylinders, spheres, billboards where you can put pictures and text uh, which is actually a really cool thing. I uh, will get into that in a later tutorial. And then uh, you can I could click on this to add my my props. Uh, right now the scene is pretty pretty bland, but we're going to add props and I could just click in here in props and kind of find like scroll through it and try and find the rocks or whatever I want. But I'm actually going to, there's this search gallery thing, so I'm going to use that. So first I'm just going to type in Mars. And it's going to pull up all of the things that kind of go with Mars. There's all these rocks type of things. So I'm just going to really fast just drag some up um, so that we kind of get a sort of Martian scene set up. I'm just dragging these in whatever order. And you can't have two things with the exact same name. So I have to rename these as I go along. Um, I may have missed like the right name. So we're just going to add these in uh, uh, sort of all over the place, just kind of randomly uh, so that it looks, uh, it just has a, a nice uh, Martian look. It doesn't, it doesn't look like everything's ordered out, and I'm going to move that so it's not a line right here. And then we'll we'll probably add a couple more things. We'll add this plateau, which is kind of a bigger type of rock. Plateau one. We'll add a plateau here, maybe. Kind of give it that scene. Gotta call that number two. And I think there's we can probably add another one of these, maybe right here. Now this, this is starting to look good, but I kind of want to add some other things, so I'm going to type in trees, or tree I guess, and just to try and find a couple things that work. This tree trunk looks kind of cool, so we'll just move it off into the background over here, and just click OK. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if there's other trees we can add. I kind of like the Joshua tree, palm tree. Yeah, I think we'll we'll just add the Joshua tree maybe over here, say. And just click OK. And notice that it doesn't get colored with that Martian red. So what's nice about this uh, version of Alice, and actually the last one too, is that you can change the default coloring of an object. 
So what you do is with the object selected, right now we still have the tree selected, you can go over here, click on the color, and we're going to just choose a brown, and it'll kind of color the tree in this Martian looking area, or this Martian looking color, so that it fits in with the rest of the scene. And now the last thing we need is uh, like our main character, or, or the person who, who we're going to be following through our, our maze. So we could either do an alien, I know that they have an alien in it, um, there's a couple different alien things, or let's, let's say for this one we're actually going to be doing an exploration. So I'm going to type in rover, and they have this sort of Martian rover thing. So I'm just going to take it in and drop that in. Um, and then maybe it, it looks fairly large right now. So I'm going to change the camera, just go up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to not change the camera because that, that's a good camera angle, but I'm going to make the ro Mars rover smaller. So over here with the object selected, you notice I have this size properties and they're linked so that if I change one, all three will change. And I'm going to change the width to one. Just hit, hit one and hit enter. Now that's, that's a better size. I kind of like that. But we're actually, it's looking, the front of the rover is facing us. And we kind of want the back of the rover to be facing us. So what I could do is I could just notice this yellow circle around the object. I could click that and just sort of move it rotate it a bit, but um, I'm going to hit Control z to undo that, or Command-Z on the Mac, but you notice I can't do it like exactly, it doesn't say you've moved half a turn or 45 degrees, so, and I, I want to move it exactly half a turn so that it's facing that way, not facing us. So what you can do is with the object selected, you go over to right past where it says what the object is, there's this little drop down arrow. Click on that, it'll say procedures, and you can choose whatever procedure you want it to do. So right now I'm going to go to turn, you can have it go either left or right, and so I'm just going to choose right and have it go half a turn, so that it's now it'll now be facing the opposite direction. So click on that, and notice it rotates around exactly half a turn, and that's kind of the scene setup that we're going for. So, uh, really pretty quickly we were able to create a scene, add objects to it, and set it up where um, in the next tutorial we'll be able to come back to this created scene and start um, adding some motion, adding controls and stuff uh, to our scene. So that is pretty much how you set up a scene. One last thing that might help is um, Say you, you stick an object in here, like this boulder right here, and you say, you know, I like how it is, but I want to have it rotated a little bit. So what you can do is you can just, the circle, you can rotate it. But then you may say, like, that actually looks like it's not on its side. Like, I, I don't like the way that's doing I want to uh, translate it or resize it. So you can use these buttons down here like the X, Y, and Z, so X is um, left and right, Y is up and down, and then Z is towards us or away from us. You can change those values, and you can change the size, or if you want to be not as exact as just typing in buttons here, you can um, go to these right here, there's rotation, translation, and resize. So if I clicked on rotation, it'll allow me to change any of those three uh, rotation things. If I wanted to do translation, I click on that and I get the three arrows to go back and for forth, left and right, and then up and down. Um, and then resize is obviously just making it smaller or bigger. So um, you can either do it exactly with these these down here, the position and the size, or you can you can choose one of these to uh, change the rotation. Um, and that, for the most part, is everything that you need to know to uh, set up a scene. So thanks for watching. Next tutorial, we're going to be doing how to um, do object uh, set up set up the object so that it's uh, or our main rover guy, so we can have it go backwards and forwards uh, with keyboard controls and and do object spinning. It, it it'll be really cool. 
Um, I'll see you then. Bye.